Hi Scorpios, this is your June love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, so the first three cards that came out for you, Scorpios, is the Nine of Pentacles, the World card, and the Seven of Wands. So some of you may be single right now, okay? Not because you want to be, but because you feel it's necessary some of you may have ended a situation with someone with the world card being here. I see a cycle ending. And then we have the seven of wands. So you're very guarded towards whoever this person is. Could be a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. We also have um, earth energy here as well. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Scorpio such as yourself. But I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you ended a connection. And if this person ended it with you... I feel like you're really guarded towards them right now, okay? You're staying away from them. You're blocking this person. Maybe you're not talking to them. You may have blocked them on social media or like blocked them from calling you. Maybe they don't have any way to access you. And I just feel like this is on purpose, okay? I feel like the universe has a lot to do with this. So let's just see how this turns out here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? All right, so we have the emperor here. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries or someone who wanted to be in control of the situation, but they weren't controlling the connection the right way. It was to benefit them and not you, okay? Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? Now, we also have the king of swords. So I feel like someone has turned away from you. They may have... Um, get, like It's like they're turn, they turned their back on you, okay? The king of swords here... I feel like this person is definitely coming back around, but I'm picking up an energy from whoever this is, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. I feel like this person was being very mean, very vindictive. They had a lot to say, like they are putting their foot down in the situation. So if this is not you feeling this way, and if this is not your energy, Scorpios, this could be your person feeling this way about you. Somebody is putting their foot down in the situation because we have the emperor and we have the king of swords. Someone has something they want to say to you. And it's like they want to get right to the point, but they're like holding off on it. It's like they're not ready to talk. I feel like this person is also um, trying to control things. It's like, you know what I'm seeing here? This person is feeling like they can control this connection without talking to you it's like so if they don't talk to you they feel like it's going to make you feel some sort of way or it's going to make you upset or um it's like it's going to hurt you so i feel like somebody may be holding back communication on purpose trying to affect the other person yeah somebody is waiting here yep I'm telling you can't make it up we have the three of wands here and we have the knight of pentacles so you feel like somebody is coming in extremely slow to talk, to express themselves, to reach out to you, maybe after an argument, maybe you and this person are going through something. And with the three of wands, you're waiting for your ships to come in. So you're like, okay, well, if this person doesn't come back, then you're asking the universe to bring you someone new because you see yourself as being single here. Okay. Single and doing very well, might I add. Okay. So some of you, you have, um, you know, you have your own money. You have your own job, you know, you could have a business, you have your own home, your own car. And even though you would like to be with this person, it's not necessary. Um, it's not necessary that you, you be with them. Like you don't need them is what I'm saying. Okay. But you are waiting for someone to talk to you or contact you. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for some of you, or an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. But I feel like if this person doesn't reach out, then you're going to move on, okay? Because you're tired of waiting on them. Yeah, somebody walked away. I'm telling you, you cannot make this up. I was picking up this energy in the beginning of your reading with the Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away here, okay? They walked away from this connection, but I feel like this person is going to regret doing that because they feel like you're going to chase them. Maybe that's what they're used to you doing, or maybe they're used to you reaching out to them, maybe asking them what's wrong or if they're coming back or if things are over, we have the Knight of Wands. So some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. We also have Leo energy here as well, okay, with the Sun card. And then we have the Seven of Cups. This person knows that you are their happiness. Like I said, somebody's playing games here. They have other options, okay, or another option. Okay, it doesn't have to be more than one person, but um, they have another option here. 
but I feel like with the Knight of Wands being here, this person is going to come charging back towards you. But the only thing about this situation is, is I don't know if you can trust this person because I feel like they lack consistency. Okay, so if you're dealing with the Leo or if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, you feel like this person always has another option or they always have someone else that they're dealing with and you can't get them to commit. But you may see this person as your happiness or they see you as their happiness, okay, with the sun card being here. But I feel like you're just tired of this person being non-committal. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? Yeah, somebody is coming back to all, to give you an offer, though. Okay? But I don't know. It's something about this offer. You know what? I'm, um... Okay, so... With the sun card here, which is Leo energy, I feel like some of you are definitely dealing with the Leo. This person is coming back around to give you an offer, but I feel like you may turn it down or you may not be impressed by this offer, Scorpios. It's like you want more, you need more, you feel like you deserve it. And being as though this person is not doing the right thing to begin with, you know, they're walking away, they're playing games. That Knight of Wands energy is the energy of someone who's just running in and out it's like they're not being serious they're not taking this serious oh okay but we have the page of pentacles and the king of pentacles so i feel like someone is going to get serious really really fast here because they're going to come in like the page of pentacles giving you this baby ass offer and i feel like you're going to reject it and so they know that they're going to have to come with the king of pentacles energy okay some of you could be dealing with an earth sign here there's so much earth in this reading and um wands so far but I feel like someone is coming in with a little offer and it's like, it's not much, but then I feel like you're going to talk to this person and you're going to tell them like, that's not enough. Yeah. The Ten of Wands. Somebody is going to be stressed out. You're going to stress this person out. It's like they left the connection with the Eight of Cups thinking that they were running shit. <laughs> but like when they come back, it's like, you're going to be like, nah, you know what? Keep moving. Like, keep it moving. Like, I don't even want your offer because it's not good enough. And then this person is going to try to step up and be the king of pentacles here. Some of you could be married to this person because the king of pentacles um, normally has a family. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the king of pentacles normally has a Yep, here we are. I just spoke it up. Some of you are definitely married with the hierophant or you're dealing with the Taurus. There's a lot of lessons that you've learned in this connection, too. I feel like somebody that you are dealing with puts you through a lot in a short period of time. And you're like, you know what? You're teaching me a lot, but it's basically waking you up. So there's some sort of wake up call. Yeah, because there's pain and there's sorrow and there's heartbreak here. Could have been a third party situation involved with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Knight, or an Aquarius. Or you're just learning lessons from this person. For some of you, you thought this was your person. I feel like you thought you were going to move forward with them. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? Oh, yeah. Wow. You're making up your mind that um, you're going to be clipping somebody. <laughs> like, clipping them, cutting them off, however you want to say it. Like, you know, with the Queen of Cups being here, the Judgment card, and the Ten of Swords, someone betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back. And it's like you had this person's... um. It's like you did a lot for them. You were always there for them and you don't understand it. But it's sort of like making you angry, but teaching you something at the same time with the judgment card being here. I'm also picking up the energy that when you're ready to walk away and you're done and you've had it, it's like, you know, whatever. How you say that? The straw that broke the camel's back. It's like whatever this person did to you, if this was something recent, I feel like you're you're like you're done. You're tired. But with the judgment card being here, it's like just when you thought that this was over and there was nothing else to become of the situation, there's a rebirth and a resurrection and someone tries to make this work. It's like they start putting in their best effort. They start becoming the king of pentacles or trying to become the king of pentacles for you. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here, Scorpios. Let's see, Spirit, what messages? Okay, yep, Star card. Some of you can be dealing with an Aquarius, or you're going to get exactly what you want with the um, Star card here. Wishes, hopes, and dreams being fulfilled. So if you want to walk away, if you want to go towards someone else, it's going to all happen for you. I feel like the universe is going to let this person watch you um, 
move to a higher level of a commitment or receive blessings here. So let's see how this turns out. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? Yep. Oh my goodness, you cannot make this shit up. <laughs> like, you're about to be blessed in a huge way, Scorpios. I don't know what it is. Could be money, could just be love coming your direction. But some of you, you've been doing the right thing. Like, someone's been treating you wrong, but you've been doing the right thing. We have a turning point here with the will of fortune okay so like i said this could involve money could involve love or everything um i feel like some of you you're wishing and you're hoping for something and you're gonna get it okay if it's love definitely with the judgment card here you've made a decision about something and the universe is backing you in this decision you have three major arcanas three important major arcanas at that the star card the will of fortune and the judgment and it's, it, it's all happening. I can't even talk. Like, I'm all stuttering over your God. <laughs> because Mercury retrograde really had me um, stutter over my words here. Okay, I feel like it's all happening because of this Ten of Swords. It's like someone betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back. But the universe is like, okay, so this all happened for a reason. Because you were meant to walk away from this person. Or you were meant to open your eyes and see something about the situation. That's going to cause you to either um, walk away, move forward, leave this person behind, or something here. All right, so let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? I see something good coming your way. It's something. I don't know what it is. Everybody's situation is going to be different, Scorpio, but it's like you've earned it. Spirit, what messages do you... Yep. Oh, my goodness. You cannot make this up. You have the judgment. All right. I mean, not judgment, justice. I meant to say justice. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? So you could be dealing with the Libra with that justice card coming out. Yeah, okay. So I'm also seeing the seven of pentacles. I keep seeing that. I feel like you've been reevaluating this situation for quite some time. Okay. Now, you've always been the queen of pentacles. To this person the queen of pentacles is someone who takes care of a family whether you're male or female energy it doesn't matter it's like you have children you have a job you could have a side hobby or go to school or you know you just go to work every day all day handle your business okay look good while you're doing it then you come home you cook clean take care of your family whatever it is that you normally do Look good while you're doing it, okay? Your money is good, everything. That's the queen of pentacles. Like, nobody is topping the queen of pentacles. And I feel like you've been watching yourself, like, go through this cycle with doing all of this with no help. Some of you haven't had help from someone. It's like this person could live in the same household with you. Or it's like they're in your life. Maybe you guys are in a relationship. Maybe something committed. Whatever the situation is for you. And you've been doing everything. And this person hasn't helped you, okay? And this is why you're being blessed with something here because it's time for you to get help. It's time for things to be given to you instead of you giving everything. So I feel like you were doing a lot of giving, but you weren't receiving much in return. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? For some of you, you have a business that's going to um, going to have abundance and prosperity as well with that wheel of fortune. Some of you are working on something. We have the two of swords and we have the ace of swords. Yeah, you're going to become very clear on a situation that you were confused about. Okay, that you were stagnant in with the two of swords. I feel like for some of you, it's a new person. But it's like you couldn't make a choice between the new person and the old person or someone that you had on your mind that you wanted to be with. Some of you want to be with someone else. You feel like that's the person for you. But you may feel bad to leave this other person behind because there's a lot of history or you had a commitment with them. Or it's like maybe you live with this person and you have to move out. And there's a lot of things that's going to take place when you leave or a lot of things that's going to fall by the wayside. Because I feel like you were doing everything with the Queen of Pentacles energy here. Okay. And someone was coming in like the page that we saw back here. I don't know where it's at um it's here oh here it is somebody was coming in like the page but now they're gonna have to step it up to the king of pentacles okay and like i said some of you are married to this person you have a family with them already and you were just waiting for them to carry their part 
of the connection or it's like you were waiting for them to um what word am i looking for when it's like bill you were waiting for them to fulfill their role in this situation and it's like you were doing their role and yours and i feel like this person had the audacity to either walk away from you or end something or it's like even if they stepped away and it's temporary they still hurt you they still betrayed you still stabbed you in the back you did a lot for them for some of you you allow somebody to live with you and they didn't appreciate it you may have taken in their children or their their child or you helped this person out with money or something spirit what messages do you have for scorpios yeah, Ace of Pentacles. That's what's coming to you. I'm telling you, a new start. There's money. There's some new endeavor. There's something where the the um the gate the door to the gate is opening. Okay, or there is a new opening here for you, rather. Okay, and the universe is gifting you something. And I feel like whoever did you wrong, whoever betrayed you and stabbed you in the back, the universe is going to let them watch you, like have you know get your blessings. And this person is going to be pissed off because I don't feel like you're going to share it with them. Oh, my goodness. You cannot make it up. Here we are. <laughs> it's Ten of Pentacles. Here's the family situation I was talking about. Here's the Two of Cups. This person's going to come back. And they're going to want this Two of Cups situation with you. Okay? They're going to want to offer you a cup. They're going to want you to offer them a cup. They're going to want this family situation back that you already had. You're like, okay, we already had this. You screwed this up. Ten of um, Swords. You walked away from it. Okay? You didn't want it. Now they want it. You know why they want it? Because they're going to see these 10 pentacles that you're getting. So it's like, if this person is walking away from you and you guys had a family and they left you with the kids, you're going to meet someone else that's going to come in and be the soulmate to you that you've always wanted. Okay. And not only that, but they're going to help you take care of your children and your family. I feel like some of you are going to have a blended family. Yeah. Okay. So it's about to get real for you, Scorpios. <laughs> All right. In a good way, though. In a good way. Because you have the the Ace of Pentacles here. So it's going to get real in a good way. So let's get some messages and see what your person is feeling and thinking. Okay. Because I see somebody is not going to like this energy, but they bought it on themselves because this person didn't... They didn't value the connection that they had with you. I'm sorry about that. I kicked the camera. They didn't value the connection that they had with you. All right, so this card just flipped right out. I never thought we would be apart this long. Here we are. Starting off this, um, the message card. Starting off the reading with the message cards. They didn't think that you were going to walk away from them or leave them where they were. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? What does their person want them to know? I'm trying to figure this out. I bet they are. <laughs> They seeing you get your blessings. They seeing you get some money or something. Or they seeing you doing good. Or they will. Okay. And now they're going to try to figure this out. But they had time to figure this out before. They just they wasn't doing it. They was taking a relationship for granted. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? Your smile lights up my world. Hmm. Now they're seeing you in a different light. I'm gathering courage to face my fears. Your intuition is right. So whatever it is that you had an intuition about when it comes to this person the universe is saying you were right so if you decided to give it up walk away or just start focusing on yourself so maybe you didn't even walk away yet you're thinking about walking away okay and you're just focusing on yourself you turned the energy from this person to you they're noticing it they're seeing it we have i'm sorry i let my pride get in the way yes yeah, someone thought it was a game they thought it was a joke like you weren't gonna walk away and ever leave them we have allowing myself to be controlled by another person. So there was a third party situation for some of you. These cards are flying out of the deck in my feelings right now. Yeah, they're in their feelings because they don't know what to do. They never saw you like this before. Okay. They're so used to you taking care of everything and everyone and just leaving yourself out. And now all of a sudden you're like, nope, focusing on me and me only. <laughs> I've been looking at your photos. Yeah, see, if you're not talking to this person, I feel like they're in their phone. They're looking online, you know, just running. You know what people do when they're missing you. You know, this person's missing you. So they're just going over photos, looking at things. And then we have twin flames. So this could be your twin flame that you're dealing with, or you may meet the twin flame, okay? The twin flame, love of your life, the person that you're meant to journey with. Maybe you're with a karmic right now and your twin flame is coming in. I'm thinking about a time we spent together. So they're thinking about you. They just don't know how to approach you because they know they screwed this up. 
And now they got to watch you win while they sit on the sideline. And look, it's not your fault. Of course, it's not your fault because I feel like you were already doing everything that you could to keep this connection together, Scorpios. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? All right, so this one is to fly out. You're my happily ever after. Yeah, now they want you. After everything that you've been through with this person, after putting up with their crap for years. I feel like for some of you, you were in this connection for years, okay? More than five or six years. And you decided no more right and i feel like it was on purpose that this happened because in the beginning of your reading okay you had the world card so there's a cycle that ended for you it was meant for this cycle to end it was meant for things to happen this way because i feel like the universe was realizing that there was something that needed to happen and you weren't going to make a move on it you weren't going to do it okay you didn't even know how i feel like you had been in this connection for so long you didn't know how to walk away from this person okay you were so used like i said to take so used to taking care of everyone except for you and now you're starting to take care of you and your life is about to improve and get better because of it okay so those are the messages that i have for your love and relationship reading scorpio i just want to say thank you for coming to my channel like comment subscribe let me know what you guys are going through out there you can follow me on facebook twitter or instagram at my cards never live to roam i'm also on tiktok at the empress 522 and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.